Hey folks, this is the Yaku Cosmopolitan, and I am in Out of the Park Baseball 22, and I've just simulated two decades of Nippon Professional Baseball. We are now in the year 2041. I thought about maybe going for another decade, but considering that almost all of the players in the league now are fictionally generated, there's really no point to it. Um, and also, I didn't load Major League Baseball into this game, so there's no threat of any of the players being posted and um, going over to MLB. They all got to finish their careers in Japan. So without further ado, let's just take a look at what's been going on in MPB during these simulated 20 years. Starting with the history index, what teams have been doing well. Uh, we see that the Hawks continue their dominance well into the 2020s, getting their fifth straight title in 21. Uh, and then they got four more for the rest of the decade. However, the Oryx Buffaloes snuck in there and got themselves two titles, surprisingly, in 22 and 25. Um, in the Central League, it was the Giants for 21 and 22, then the Swallows in 23 and 24, then the Carp and the Tigers, then the Carp again, but none of them could get themselves that elusive Japan series. Uh, until the base stars got one in 29 and then the central league really dominated dominated for the rest of of the sim uh, The carp repeated in 30 and 31. They got one in 33 uh, We see that the Giants and Tigers alternated pennants here from 34 to 37 Giants winning two and the Tigers uh, finally breaking their curse in 2037 and then the last three years uh, was the Chinichi Dragons, with the Dragons finally getting one in 2040. They did get another one in 2032 as well. Um, and then the Pacific League for the 2030s was kind of a mess. A bunch of different teams here. The Hawks got themselves two more titles and the Eagles got themselves one, but no, no other team really stands out. If we sort by teams here, uh, we see that the Hawks obviously were the best, seven titles and 18 playoff appearances out of the 20 seasons. Um, incredible stuff. Uh, the Carp were the next best team with three championships, Giants and Buffaloes and Dragons each getting two. Tigers, Bay Stars, Eagles and Marines get one. And then it was the Fighters, Lions and Swallows as the three lone teams that were unable to get themselves a single championship. If we sort by win percentage, uh, the Hawks, Carp, and Tigers are at the top with the Lions, Swallows, and Eagles at the bottom. And surprisingly, the Buffaloes uh, did better than the Giants, and which is pretty impressive considering their, their budget. Um, now let's just go to 2021, which is what it is in real life, uh, see how things turned out in the sim. We see that the Hawks, Marines, Lions were the A class, followed by the Eagles, Buffaloes, and Fighters, and the B class. Now, other than the Eagles finishing uh, outside the top three, I think this is pretty accurate for what you might see in real life. Um, we see that the Hawks did end up sweeping the Giants yet again in the Japan series. So that would be the third consecutive year, uh, obviously going back to the, to real life that that happened. Um, Yuki Anagita wins the MVP, Kodai Senga with the Sawamura Award, Junichiro Kishi with the Rookie of the Year Award, and Shinya Kayama with the Reliever of the Year Award. If we go over to the Central League, Giants, Carp, Swallows in the A class, Bay Stars, Dragons, and Tigers in the B class. Yeah, I'm not sure what ha what went wrong for for the Tigers here. Um, obviously, we're currently the best team in all of baseball in in Japan in real life, but not doing too well in this sim. Uh, Seiya Suzuki wins the MVP. Uh, Masato Morista wins the Sawamura Award. Koki Ugusa wins the Rookie of the Year and Ruby De La Rosa with the Reliever of the Year Award. So there were three card players winning silver, silverware that season. Uh, let's ch check out 22 now. Let's see how the Buffaloes ended up winning the Japan Series. Uh, yeah, they finished in third place, 14 back of the Hawks in the regular season, but then they beat the Lions in the first stage, then they beat the Hawks in the Climax Series, and they too swept the Giants in the Japan Series. So Giants just cannot seem to avoid getting swept in the Japan Series, even in a video game. Uh, MVP award goes to Tomiya Mori, catcher of the Lions, Yoshinobu Yamamoto with a Sawamura award. Back to the Central League now. It went Giants, Carp, Tigers, then based on Swallows, Dragons. Um, Yoshihiro Maru with the MVP award and Katsuki Azuma of the Bay Stars winning a Sawamura award. He is uh, certainly a prospect in real life but has not 
shown his true potential yet, so maybe he has that in him in the future. Um, yeah, now let's go over to the to awards in general. Um, obviously, we already looked at 21 and 22, but Yanagita, another MVP in 23. Rio Ota, prospect for the Buffaloes, getting one in 24. He's actually still an active player. Um, as for the Sawamura Awards, Yoshinobu Yamamoto wins four straight from 22 to 25. Kodai Senga gets another one, and then it was the Roki Sasaki show after that, 27 to 32. He wins six consecutive Sawamura Awards, so that is uh, definitely really impressive. Go over to the Central League. Seiya Suzuki gets one in 23, Tatsuro Yamada in 24, Munitaka Murakami in 25, Kazuma Okamoto in 26, um, Murakami with another one in 28. Oh, and Takayoshi uh, Yamamura is a real life prospect for the Lions, and he had himself a hell of a career. Uh, four MVP awards, um, over 500 career home runs, over 2,500 career hits, and 88.3 wins above replacement. So, great job by him. Uh, back to the Sawamura Award winners here. Doesn't seem like anybody really stands out on like in the Pacific League. Nobody really dominating. Uh, uh, Yasunobu Okugawa, prospect for the Swallows in real life, gets himself one in 24. Um, but actually, that was kind of his only good season. Um, actually, 20, uh, 2033 was pretty good, and he had some okay ones other than that, but kind of an underwhelming career. Just one Sawamura Award in there. Um, now let's go to records and see if there's been any significant records broken during these 20 years sort by year uh, we do see that this guy Senichi Yamashita who is a fictional player uh, he broke the single season hits record in 2034 with 227 hits a 378 batting average and a 952 OPS along with 48 steals his career high was 72 um, what a career he had almost 2500 hits over 600 steals uh, a 309 batting average, a really good career this guy had, majority for the for the Marines. Um, that seems to be it for the single season batting uh, records. How about for the pitching side? Uh, we do see that Roki Sasaki in 28 set the single season mark for Ks per 9 with 12.7. He had 257 strikeouts in 182.2 frames. Um, Right in the midst of his of his dominance here, really his from 26 to 32 was his prime. Um, absolutely sick numbers. So many strikeout titles uh, and four ERA titles as well. He finishes his career with 155 wins and over 2,700 strikeouts. We can also take a look at accomplishments. See if there were any standout individual game performances. Uh, wow. 2025, Hotaka Yamakawa, slugging first baseman for the Lions. Four home runs, five for five with six ribbies against the Marines. Uh, and he was actually on, on the Hawks when he did that. That's impressive. Uh, six plus hit games. Uh, Aizawa, Roman Ishikawa, Seiya Suzuki. The rest of these are, are fictional players, I believe. Um, 15 plus games. Taisuke Yamaoka. Uh, with one in 22 and 23. He actually got 16 in uh, a start against the Eagles in eight innings. Uh, Yamamoto gets one. Cycles. Mike Gerber. <laughs> um, Tetsuro Yamada. Roman Ishikawa. Uh, Yuki Yanagita. Munitaka Murakami. That's a guy you don't really expect to be able to get a triple, but got one there. Uh, Nishikawa with another one. Yanagita with yet another one. Uh, Ryo Ota. See, see how his career turned out. Uh, he's still an active player, but oh yeah, really good numbers here. 90 career war, uh, almost 3,000 hits. He might get there by the if we if we kept simulating. Uh, almost 400 home runs, 270 stolen bags. Really nice career by him. No hitters. Um, all fictional players by the looks of it. Uh, this guy Takeji Dezaki, the only 21 season in in this game and. Good lord, was he was he a legend? Um, still playing right now, although he's injured. But 224 wins and a 3.05 career ERA, uh, over 3,000 strikeouts, and he looks like he's been incredibly durable, leading the league in innings pitched in most of these seasons. So 
really good fictional player there. Triple crowns. Yamamoto gets one in 24. Uh, Sasaki won it three times, 27, 28, and 29. That guy would just look that got one in 28 as well. Uh, in terms of hitting triple crowns, uh, that guy, Takayoshi Yamamura that we looked at earlier, he got one in 31. Um, and another fictionally generated player got one in 37. Now let's take a look at some more notable names, see how their careers turned out. Uh, we already saw that Munitaka Murakami won himself a couple of MVPs, but let's see how his career was as a whole. So he finishes with 447 home runs, um, just under 2,000 hits, uh, a 249, a 246, 389, 480 slash line with 77.2 career war. He ended up with the, the Hawks towards the end of his career, uh, and he led the league in walks like almost every single year. So really great discipline, really great power, and just an amazing career that uh, Murakami had. Um, let's take a look at his teammate, uh, Tetsuda Yamada. So Yamada plays, he also ended up with the Hawks towards the end. He played till 2030, finishes with over 2,500 hits, 345 home runs, 364 steals, and 857 OPS, 92.4 wins above replacement. Another guy, really, really good career. Um, let's check out Kazuma ok Okamoto, slugger for the Yomiuri Giants. Um, Wow, so he finished with 539 career home runs and 3,000 hits, a 383, or 283, 374, 489 slash line, over 100 career war. What a career he had. Um, looks like he went to the Bay Stars, and then the Eagles, then the Buffaloes, then back to the Eagles. He played till age 41. Just incredible, incredible numbers. Um, let's take a look at uh, his teammate, Hayato Sakamoto. Alright, so Sakamoto fell off after 2021, pretty much. Like, 2023 was his last real uh, decent year after that. It was all downhill, so he did not play very long. He finished with um, 2,400 hits, 62 war. A little bit underwhelming, thought he could go uh, a little bit longer, but it is what it is. Now let's look at Tomoyuki Sagano, another giant. So after 21 with the Giants, he went over to the Hawks, then the Eagles, then the Buffaloes, back to the Giants, then uh, the Carp, then, then the Bay Stars. So he went everywhere pretty much, but he really was not anywhere near as dominant after, um, really for this entire sim, he, he just did not really have that... Uh, anywhere near the numbers he's been putting up in real life, but he does finish with almost 200 career wins and over 2,500 strikeouts and 3,000 innings of work. Um, let's go for Seiya Suzuki now. We did see that he got himself uh, a few MVPs as well. He finishes with almost 3,000 hits, just fell short. Um, kind of a Barry Bonds thing going on there. Um, 437 jacks, 242 stolen bags, a 302, 403, 502 slash line. That is like the epitome of hitting right there, the 345 slash line, and 110 career war. So that's just uh, incredible. Um, how about Morishita? Masato Morishita, another guy for the carp. Um, all right, so he was really good towards the first couple of years of, of the sim, but then kind of fell off after that. Career ERA over four. Um, bit underwhelming from him, kind of like Okugawa, who we looked at earlier. A little bit, little bit underwhelming. Um, speaking of pitchers, let's look at Yoshinobu Yamamoto of, of Oryx. We saw he won himself four consecutive Salomura awards, and, and yeah, he, he was really good um, for most of the sim. Uh, he played with the Buffaloes for almost his entire career. He did have two seasons where he was with the Hawks for some reason, but um, almost 200 wins, a 3.29 ERA, 9.3Ks uh, per nine, almost 3,000 strikeouts, didn't quite get there, and 75 career war, so great job by him. How about Masa, Taka, Yoshida? Um, he had himself kind of a short career, retired at 34. Was that due to injury? Uh, no, he just, nobody wanted him after uh, 2028. Um, but he finishes with 
a 309 407 486 slash line over 50 war um didn't really get too many milestones but still a really nice career for the buffaloes nonetheless um let's look at kodai senga kodai senga played till 2032 mostly all with with the hawks he finishes with 179 wins a 333 era uh, almost 3,000 strikeouts, not quite. Yeah, yeah, he had some good seasons. He did win a couple of Samamura awards himself. Uh, now let's look at Yuki Yanagita. Yuki Yanagita finishes with almost 2,500 hits, 357 home runs, 270 steals, and a 306, 420, 508 slash line with 101 war. I'm actually curious to uh, compare him to, um, say, a Suzuki. Their, their numbers look very similar for their career. Now, Suzuki played 500 more games, so he has a pretty big advantage there. That's why he has over 500 more hits. But if you just look at the, the, the slash lines, um, very similar there. Yanagita has not beat uh, in OPS plus and WRC plus, a uh, little bit in Woba as well. Um, but the war goes to Suzuki because he played more. Uh, same with the one probability added, but very similar careers out of, out of those two legends. Um, I'd like to take a look at uh, Kotaro Kiyomiya as well. Um, has not panned out in real life and oof, yeah, he ended up being a complete bust. Pretty much he only had like 13 more at-bats for his career. Did he play in the minors, uh, the, in the Nigun? He did, he played until he was 30 years old on the farm team and not very impressive. Um, I mean, they're not bad numbers, but you can't be putting up those kind of numbers in the, in the Nigun. And yeah, he, he does not deserve the name Japanese Babe Ruth, that's for sure. Um, I'm kind of running out of guys to, to look at here. Um, Tanaka International. Uh, so he came back in 21, and kind of a down year in 21 and 22. 22, he was really bad. Um, well, he underperformed his FIP by quite a bit. But, oh yeah, he just, uh, Makun not really performing uh, to, to his ability at all after he came back. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. If, if you're interested in any specific player, go ahead and comment down below and I can reply to you with how their career turned out. But other than that, yeah, thanks for watching.